What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net, and today we're going to be talking about Windows 10. The new release of the Windows operating system will be done tomorrow on the 29th of July. Now, if you are using Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, you will get an automatic free upgrade for one year. So basically from July 29th, 2015 to July 29th, 2016, you will be able to upgrade to the new Windows 10 operating system for one year. So if you have the Home Edition, the Pro Edition, you will be able to do an, an automatic update to Windows 10 tomorrow on the 29th. Now, um, if you are using the Enterprise Edition, it will automatically uh, upgrade for you to the new operating system for what I understand. So you shouldn't have to do anything. It's just that whenever you go to bed one night, you should be able to wake up and then all of a sudden you have the new operating system on your system. So be prepared for that. So you might want to do some research on that if you are running the Enterprise Edition of Windows 10. I mean, I'm sorry, Windows 7 or Windows 8. If you're using Windows Vista and below, there is no free upgrade. You will have to purchase it. Now, the um, operating system uh, for Windows Pro is $199, and Windows Home Edition is $109, I believe, something like that. I'll have it down in the description. <clears throat> so you will be able to purchase it. It's not really that expensive. It's the same price as what it has been for the last couple of versions of the operating system. Now, if you are a beta tester, and you have been using the Windows Insider, then... Uh, I woke up this morning with the new Windows Insider uh, installed, which is the TH1 Pro 10240. So if you have that copy installed and you were an Insider, as in you were using the Insider preview of Windows 10, then you get a free upgrade to Windows Pro. That's right, you do not have to pay for the Windows Pro. However, there is a catch. You have to do all the updates, all of the security updates and stuff like that. So basically, you're like a guinea pig to Microsoft, which means that whenever something uh, comes out, it has to be installed on your system. Now, if you choose not to install it, then after a certain period of time, your operating system will expire. So you have to continue to install all these updates that come out. So basically, an update is going to be released, and then you test out that new update, and if that update has any bugs in it, then you report in the bugs. Okay, so that way they don't release it to the paying consumer. Okay, so they would rather for the beta testers to get hit, because that's what we are. We are beta testers. We test out this software to make sure that everything's going to run properly, and we're going to make sure that the paying public is not going to end up with something really bad. Now, this has happened before with Microsoft in the past. Okay, they have released updates before that have totally crashed out systems. Okay, so now what they're doing is that they're going to have your beta testers to continue to run the Windows 10 operating system for free, but you got to continue to install all these updates. So like my system, I've got my system set up to where it installs new updates at 3 o'clock in the morning whenever they become available. So whenever I wake up the next morning, I will be able to see that I've got new updates. So I'll be able to go in yonder and test out that new update and then do my bug reports, if any. So that's basically how it runs. If you are using Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, you get a free upgrade for one year. So you have... A year to do your upgrade <clears throat> and so you get to use the new operating system for free there is no restrictions if you are doing an upgrade from Windows 7 8 and 8 1 there is no restrictions like there is on the beta testers so you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to install any updates if you don't want to install any updates <clears throat> excuse me so um, and that only applies to your beta testers. Your beta testers are the only ones that have to install the updates in order to continue to have the Windows 10 professional version for free. 
Okay, it makes me wish that I would have installed it on my laptop as well, but I didn't. I only had it running on my other system because my laptop is my production system, and I did not need nothing to halt me. So that means uh, I've got Windows uh, 7 installed on it, so I can do the free upgrade. But the system, uh, <clears throat> I'm just, I'm, I'm not ready to do anything with it right now because of the fact that some of the software that I use. Uh, will not run on Windows 10. So, but anyway, that's basically it. So if you are a beta tester and you have been using the Insider Preview for the last month, you get the Windows 10 professional version for free with the catch of having to install all available updates before they get released to the paying public. Wayne Barron here with darkflakes.net. Windows 10 will be released tomorrow, so y'all get ready and enjoy. Have a good one now. Bye-bye.